All right, welcome back, you, you players, you ballers, you actual uh, drug dealers, you literal basketball players, you actual employed um, pimps. Yeah, welcome back to watching a video game get played. Good on you for taking a break between all of your, you know, crime, but um. Do you know what's really criminal? Not watching my videos. <laughs> Ow. Because how could you... It would be a real crime to miss, like, hot gameplay action like that one. Uh, anyway. Did I already come through this area? I feel like this area is very familiar. I remember getting my ass beat in by a goat somewhere around here, so... Uh, yeah, that sounds like something that would happen to me. Alrighty, let's go ahead and show this player how it's done. Wow, that is a hell of a fucking, like, updraft there. Cool. Oh, that's a rocket launcher. Okay, well, while they're busy doing all that kind of crazy shit, what we're going to be doing... Oh, I guess I can come up and kill this guy real quick. I'm going to take a little detour just to commit some murder. Wait, did I just fucking, like... Backhand over the shoulder, just block a fucking laser beam. That's too much swag. I mean, this guy has like negative three out, negative three thousand percent percent swag to start with. So I'm amazed that he had even half of that, uh, half of the swag required to pull off a maneuver like that. I hope while opening the treasure chest, I don't get hit by a rocket. I mean, I kind of hope that that happens because it would be really, really funny. But, you know, I hope for, you know, the sake of this guy's, uh, lack of, you know, wait, owie! Uh, I hope for this guy's, like, you know, uh, like, skin, bones, and organs that he doesn't get hit with too many, uh, rocket launchers and, uh, other miscellaneous, um, deadly things. Let's just go ahead and do a dot. Well, that's what we call a self-correcting issue. Um, okay. I'm gonna die. God, as soon as I heard that thing coming in from the right side of my headphones, I was like, um, well, I'm gonna end up being the sequel to Rocket Man, which is, uh, Major Tom, insofar as I'm gonna die. You know, there's a funny story about that. <laughs> what a hell of a segue. That no, was a funny story about that. Um, you probably have heard of that one guy who went to space. He was an astronaut. Um, Chris something. He's got a mustache. He uh, he was a meme for a little while. He, uh, he, gosh, what else is there about that guy? Chris Hardwick? Or is that, I can't tell. There's too many people named Chris nowadays. Uh, is it, because there's like Chris Pratt and then there's Chris... Hansen, and then there's, uh, um, uh, who am I trying to think of? I don't know. Uh, well, the point is, like, there's, there's too many, there's too many Chris's, and I can't, uh, oh, Chris Evans, that's the guy. There's too many people named Chris. I don't, I don't know. We need to get rid of, like, three of them or something. Otherwise, I'm never going to be able to keep, keep all this shit together. Anyway, the point is, uh, astronaut guy... He, uh, plays the guitar, and, uh, when he was, like, memeing it up in space, uh, he, he put, he put out a video where he, um, did a production of, uh, of, of, or he did a cover of Major Tom in space, and, uh, he said, uh, I'll only do this, I'll only make this video and, uh, whatnot, if we're allowed to change the ending so that the, 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 the astronaut doesn't die. Spoiler alert, but you know what? I can totally commend wanting to be a little bit superstitious about uh, being an actual astronaut in space, singing a, you know, a, I guess a, almost a folk song, if you, well, jumping over the rocket didn't work out nearly as well as I expected it to, but no, no, I can, I can totally sympathize with that. Owie! I'm busy, man. I'm trying to tell a story about a dead astronaut. Let's go ahead and stim myself up real quick, and then we'll sense this echo since I'm in here. Um, yeah, I mean, 
It'd be like, uh, well, there's not a whole lot of songs I can think of that uh, feature people, you know, dying in them in such a dramatic way. Uh, I got my life force back from that. So all the damage I took from just eating a rocket from three feet away got immediately mitigated with heals. Perfect. I mean, I don't know, it'd be like if I went to work one day as a programmer and then I was singing a song about how like a programmer fucking accidentally caused like a like a uh, a nuclear power plant to explode. I think that oh shit, I probably shouldn't have rested. Did I rest? I better not have. Um, I think that a lot of people would probably think that that was very weird on account of the fact that that song doesn't exist. So that means that I wrote it. Well, it doesn't seem like something I wouldn't write. But the point is I wouldn't write it and share it with my coworkers. That's the part that would be a little bit strange. I think I'm going to go ahead and take a um, agile deflection. I don't know. It doesn't seem that useful. I'm already decent enough at deflecting blasters. So... Let's go ahead and increase my maximum force strength count power instead. Because that seems like something I'll be able to put to more immediate use when I do... Did I did I rest? Okay. I was going to just like... Yes, I did. Wait. That guy's dead. These other people are alive. I really would like to use my force push to push somebody off of a cliff. But that's not really happening. Anyway, yeah, so I did all this, and you know what, as as good as it was to have done this entire segment and, you know, made all that progress, I gotta say, I'm a little pissed off at myself. Do you know why? Do you know why I'm, I'm a little bit, a little bit like, ah, I could have done better, you know, being, being a little critical, trying to make sure I'm keeping my game up to maximum? It's because I accidentally forwarded the plot. I was trying, I thought that entire tomb was just going to be a little bonus area where I was going to just like get some lore, get some, get some cosmetic items I was never going to use, but no, I actually went straight double hog into that, into that full plot line. And I was like, I was like, oh, just give me that plot line. Uh, I want, I want it all. And then I'll cook plot uh, some breakfast the next morning. And you know what? That's just not my style. I'm definitely more of a like hit it and forget it kind of kind of dude when it when it comes to progress in video games. As we can... <laughs> what did I fuck up there? I thought I did that right. How could I possibly have messed that up? The whole point is to jump and I didn't do it good enough. All right, here we go. Oh, shit. Look at him now. He's such a Jedi. He's going to Jedi level two. Uh, oh, God. I can't believe I made that. That looked really, really, really close. Nah, man. He's pulling off moves that you could only expect out of a crashed bandicoot. You know what I'm saying? What the hell is this thing? Oh, shit. There was a checkpoint that I didn't get because I climbed into the fucking... Well, can I sit down at least? This looks like a, uh... This looks like, um... You know, one of those, uh... Like a really, really, really fancy version of one of those really bad rides at an amusement park. Which is basically just like... Like, you're gonna go straight up in the air. And then you're gonna go straight down at the ground real fast. But then you're gonna stop. And then you're gonna go straight up again. And then we're just gonna do that for, like, a solid, like minute and a half five dollars please I think I'm gonna die wait wasn't I in an area that looked just exactly like this already <gasps> oh there's some plot dribbling from the ceiling right there mmm just gonna what the fuck <laughs> behold Cloak rock. Now you see me, and now you don't. But I'm still here. I'm solid. 
No, I'm not. I'm apparently ro well. I'm kind of solid. It's quite hard to tell. I love you, Cloak Rock. You're my favorite rock of all. What is this? Well, it's got some lightsaber slices uh, put right into it, so I guess it's done. Um, all right, so going up in this thing literally did nothing because it just took me to the top of the fucking penguin ride that I already went down. Well, down, down we go. I wonder what I'm going to run into here. I'm assuming a wall that I will attempt to grab onto. Can I go two for two on that? We're not going to count that first time. So two for two. Here we go. And yeah. God damn it. Ah. Ah. How? Why would you do such a thing to me? How is he messing that up anyway? I mean, it is his fault. There we go. Stupid. All right, now that I've done that, uh, I'm gonna fall to my death. No, I'm not. Yeah. All right. Welcome back to Progress Town. Ice, the Zepho Ice Caves. Or, as it said in that weird little script below, the Zepho Ice Caves. Just in, like, some different, like, little, little scratchy symbols. Runes, I guess is the word. Um, Zepho is huge. Let me guess, doesn't open from this side. Wow, what do you know? Uh, wow. Wow. You don't need me to make a whole song and dance out of it. That was a lot of no sound effects there. Ah, shit. Alrighty. Now, the thing to realize is that this guy, his senses, he can only detect me purely by stank. I must smell really bad. Okay, I thought I used the force push, but I guess I didn't. All right. Boom. Okay, good. Uh-oh. All right, yeah, yeah. I leveled up my force push specifically so that I'd be able to stun uh, big guys like that. And so far, so good. All right, fucking... Um, wait, what? Uh, I... I feel like I was supposed to do something there, but I backed off before getting the cool you killed him animation. Uh, anyway, what was I going to say? Uh, this guy's charging at me like it, like that was basically straight up like a fucking like Mike Tyson's punch out boss fight there. Aw, oh, can I not hit his corpse away? Come on, let me hit his corpse off. Uh, I gained force push and I'm not allowed to push any corpses. Then why the hell did I even get this ability? Come on, come on, come on, come on. No! That doesn't count. Bullshit. All right, well, I kicked his ass. So I'm going to go uh, into his home and take his uh, take his treasure and children now. What the fuck? There's nothing in here. Was he hibernating? Or was he just, like, living here and he just broke out of prison and then immediately died? Oh, no. He was a baby. He was, he was just, oh. An Imperial officer was trying to hide a relic down here. It was a cave-in. She became trapped and never escaped. And then she transformed into a fucking grimace? Anyway, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, no, that guy was a baby because that wall was basically an egg and he hatched from the egg and then I killed him. Well. Say la vie. Sunrise and sunset and all that good shit. All right. Here we go. Time to fight some rats. All right. Let's take a different approach. Shortcut unlocked. What exactly is this a shortcut to? Where am I? Have I been here before? Has anyone been here before? I feel like I haven't been here before, but the game seems to be suggesting that I've... I don't think I can reach over there. 
So I guess I gotta figure it's time to go down the rope. Which was a shortcut. But it doesn't look any familiar to me, so I don't know why it's, they, they claim it's a shortcut. Alright. Just gonna go ahead and take care of that. And uh well I'm out of 4C, unfortunately. Okay, thought I hit the roll button, but that's fine. See, I'm gonna have to kill this thing to get a little bit of my force powers back. But you gotta admit, killing that thing with the push off the old cliff was a really satisfying way to go. Fuck. Alright. Well, we're gonna go ahead and pretend that that's the first time I've done this segment. Because if you all believe me on the... Uh, on the ice cave grippy thing from earlier, then you dumbasses are gonna believe me on this one, aren't you? Owie. All right, so uh, this is gonna be a bit of a problem because I can deflect and block at the same time. All right, oh, he's got stims. Hell yeah, I got stims. Okay, okay, shit, well. I hope this takes me someplace cool because it didn't really. That was not an. Uh, it was not a planned maneuver there. Guess I need to stay real far away from anything that looks vaguely like a cheap uh, theme park thing. What the hell's a Jotas? As in, he's got a thick Spanish accent and he saw a Jotas piece of ass. Because if so, I really wouldn't uh, describe Cal as like such. Please tell me it didn't put me at the top of yet another... Over here. Like, if it put me at the top of yet another ice slide, I was going to be a little bit grumples. Looks like I am on top of one, though. But we'll come back to this one later. I think I can use a checkpoint first. And considering I had to use all my stims to, you know, treat my vigorous laser wounds. Probably worth coming back and getting those uh, back again. So, burst slow. Holding slow allows Cal to slow all targets, but I need two skill points for that. That's worth saving up for, so I guess I will. Uh, let's rest up, though. We will also get a source echo thing, or whatever the hell it was called. Sense echo, not a source echo. Source Echo sounds like a freaking thing from Divinity Original Sin. Did somebody die here? Oh, somebody died here. Wow, what a surprise. Echoes are never about somebody dying. Imperial excavation is making these tunnels unstable. Boop. Yeah, I feel you, man. Nothing worse than an unstable Imperial thing <gasps> what is it boy excavation equipment like grates and crates wow I'm so glad I had a robot give me an encyclopedia entry just to show me how vents work you mean that there's little slots in there so it doesn't uh, so I can still breathe? That's magic technology. Wow, did that guy use a rocket launcher just to kill one little rat fucking thing? Hey. Hey. You can't... Uh, you... <laughs> come on. Come on, don't be shy. Come down here. Come on. If you come down here you think you can't get back up, then you can just go ahead and rocket jump because you got yourself a little rocket launcher. I'm afraid as soon as I jump, he's going to try and hit me. Ow. Turns out my fears were confirmed. But, uh, I can hit a lot harder than he can. Alright, so, um, <laughs> you talk shit, but the rat is dead. Uh, alrighty. You got me there. I can't argue with the results. Okay, so I can kill the ram thing over there. Which will take me to the shortcut to get me to the area that I was at before. Or I can come over here and question mark, question mark, question mark. Let's see. Well, you know, it's kind of alluding that I should be going in this direction. 
So very briefly, we're going to go kill that ram and just explore out these cavies just a little bit more. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Buck. Owie. I thought, so this guy can't be force pushed off of a cliff? Of all the enemies you'd expect to be able to force push off of a cliff, a enemy that charges at you and is a goaty ram thing is like number one. That's fine, whatever. All right, uh, hey man, uh, how you been? Long time no see. The hell? Okay, I thought like a little thing came up that I could uh, have my, my little robot analyze, which I mean, Granted, probably was there. Oh, damn you. Uh, that's fine. It's fine. Failure's fine. Never try never never try to improve kids because failure's okay because you can always just accept that you failed. It's fine, whatever.